Josh, um, you once said to me, I can never be the love for you that Jesus was on the cross. But what I can do as your partner is that I can take your hand, I can say it's going to be okay, and walk you to the foot of the cross. I know these were your exact words because I wrote them on the back of an Amazon parcel, which was the closest, <laughs> <laughs> which, <laughs> which was the closest thing to me. I knew these were words I wanted to remember. To be loved by a man like you and loved in the way that you love me is an incredible experience. With our marriage, we are creating a new family unit and I will work to trust God as you lead our family in forging a new path for us. I promise to do what I can to make our new family a safe space for you to be fully yourself without reproach. I am committed to a lifetime of learning, learning you as you change, learning about myself and the ways I need to grow to ensure righteousness in our family, learning how to best serve, respect and love you. I will take your dreams on as my own, dream big and expect much from God. I promise to let you be the hero and dispose of all spiders and sing, <laughs> and sing to you loudly and often because I know you love it when I do. I hope to see our differences not as sources of conflict, but as opportunities, and I promise to choose to love you regardless of our circumstances. Josh, I love you. I pledge to be your best life companion, and I can't wait to get started. <laughs> Dion, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Dion, after I proposed to you, everyone who heard the news of our engagement kept asking me the same question. How did you know that she was the one? Before I gave my answer, I'd often stare off into space, deep in thoughtful consideration, and turn back to whoever asked the question with a casual smirk, because I knew exactly what I was going to say the whole time. On the night that I proposed, I didn't know if you were the one. In fact, I still don't, but for a long time, I thought I had to. I thought there was some deep, core, fundamental part of my heart and soul that had to be certain beyond a shadow of any doubt that you were indeed the wife that I had waited for. So in an effort to secure that confidence, I made a list of all the things that I did know about you. I knew that your beauty was so much more than skin deep that it went down to the very core of who you are, kind, joyful, compassionate. I knew that you were someone with godly morals that I both respected and admired. I knew that we could laugh together at the silliest of jokes, and I knew we could mourn together in the midst of each other's sufferings. I knew we could grow in godliness together because from the first day of your baptism into Christ, you have built your entire life on the foundation of your faith in God. And I knew it was nearly impossible to imagine spending the rest of my life without you in it. And yet, knowing all this was still not enough. <laughs> okay. I think that's because love is more than knowing even to the point of certainty. It's more than a feeling, even to the greatest height of passion. If God is love, how could I ever know it to the point of completion? Love is a mystery. It's an act of faith. 
It has no endpoint and no destination, only new discoveries that continually reward faithful choices. What I finally realize is that I don't really want to know that you are the one. What I want is to spend the, re is to spend the rest of my life discovering it. Discovering you as you discover me. So that is my vow and my promise. Today, and every day after for the rest of our lives together. I vow to know you and to be known by you and only you. I vow to protect, honor, and serve and nourish our relationship and our household. And most importantly, as my wife, I vow to love you, Dion, as Christ has loved the church. Come to the sky when we aim, so dig it deep down, down.